I mean, the people here were outraged of everything that happened. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Come to Lebanon! What's up guys, welcome back to the first official episode here in Lebanon and I'm with my guy Mac. Hey, subaho guys and ahla wasala be Lebanon. Welcome to Lebanon. Basically he's Lebanese now so <laughs> I don't even recognize this guy anymore. I've le I left him for like three months. Is it three four months? Yeah. But guys today I'm going to give you a little bit of a first impression of what Lebanon is like after being away after a few years so I'm looking forward to having some local food and just getting a taste of what things are like out here. So let's enjoy the adventure and let's go. So we've just stopped off at, uh, this is called Zatar. Zatar yeah. Zay, and also called Zwiz. Zwiz, okay, so they call it Zwiz here. Uh, when I used to live in Dubai, we used to eat this all the time and get the famous chicken sandwich. But today, we're starting off with the famous Lebanese manakish, is it? Oh, yeah. Manakish? Yeah, yeah it's, it's the go-to, guys. Uh, the manusha, manakish is plural, and we're, so we're getting manakish. Manusha is singular. Here we go. Here is the famous manusha. Manusha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's manusha. give it, let's give it a taste, guys. Oh my god, check this out. Okay, you see the <laughs> cheese. See, there we go. That's why I get double jibna in there. You need that extra cheese there. Oh, oh, oh yeah. So we have just finished our breakfast and guess how much it is? 204 US dollars. Not really guys, that is the wrong exchange rate. But I'm gonna get into that a little bit more in this video and explain to you a little bit more how that works here in Lebanon. But in actual fact, it's 307,000. Okay. Which is like, as Max says, $9.50. But is it the government exchange rate that give this US yeah, thing? Yeah, yeah. yeah, so the government exchange rate is extortionate, but the actual exchange rate is completely different to what you see here. But as I say, I'll explain that a bit later on in the vlog too. All right, guys, we just finished off our breakfast and okay. gonna go freshen up over at the apartments because we're now heading into the city, the capital of Lebanon, which is Beirut. Oh yeah, Beirut, Yalla. Through the Lebanese capital Beirut. 4th of August 2020 was one of the darkest days in Lebanon's history and my heart goes out to all the Lebanese people that had to face such a horrible event and our thoughts are with all the families that lost their loved ones during this horrific tragedy. I share these videos to raise awareness with the world that Lebanon is still healing and we pray for better times in this beautiful country. We've just pulled over at the exact location where the blast happened which was roughly around two years ago which is just down there and it's just so so intense being at the exact location of where it actually happened because when I was here three years ago I wouldn't expect anything like this to happen here in Beirut but I just cannot believe what happened because you can see the aftermath has literally affected all these buildings over there so you can see how far the effect of the blast was and guys what you will notice here is one thing about the Lebanese people is it doesn't matter what happens or what they go through, they still come back so much stronger. So that's one thing I really, really learned last time I was here in Beirut, is there's something special about the people here in Lebanon, the way they come together through tough times and even make it back stronger. I mean, after that huge, insane blast that happened a couple of years ago, the way they've already started reconstructing their buildings here, it's just absolutely incredible. They've already got high rise buildings there, half complete. And I'm just kind of looking at this building over there and just, I'll be totally honest guys, feeling very, very emotional because, you know, people lived in these houses, you know, and in these apartments. So 
I could only, you know, my heart only goes out to the people here of Lebanon for having to constantly go through the hardships that they are going through because no country or no families or nobody in general should have to go through such things. So I can only hope that things here in Lebanon will continue to improve and with the will and great personality that the people here of Lebanon have, I'm sure it will get back to normal and things will get great. And also guys, that's why I'm here to help promote this beautiful country to the world so they can see what Lebanon truly has to offer people around the world. Guys, we have now just reached the area of Mam Khail, not Mam Michael, right, Matt? Yeah, Mam Khail. <laughs> Mam Khail. So this is the area where, in the evenings, it comes alive. It's got a lot of bars, restaurants, and it's going to be interesting to see now what it's actually like after everything that Lebanon has gone through. Um, and Matt was actually telling me that the vibe has changed from obviously a couple of years ago. It seems like um, the country is still recovering from what's happened. It's not the same. So let's see what it's going to be like. What's good, bro? <laughs> Welcome to Maram Khayyam. Just to give you an idea of what well, we've got haunting going on. So, a bit of a hectic place. What was what you expect from a capital city when you come to any country? It's always going to be quite hectic. It's super, super modern mixed with a Middle Eastern twist. And that's one thing that I love about the culture here in Lebanon is that it has that mix of European vibe but also the Middle Eastern culture. Like, if you just have a look here, guys, to the type of buildings there, they've got kind of the Western looking buildings but it's got that twist of a Middle Eastern vibe as well. So now it's about midday, or should I say about three, three o'clock-ish, and it's not too busy. We've got kind of a few shops open around here. We've got some like mac and cheese, we've got restaurants, and we've got bars open. And what Mac was actually telling me is that there's not many areas here in Lebanon that have 24-hour electricity. But Ma Michael, uh, Ma'am Khalil, sorry, is one of those areas that you'll come and they should always have electricity. Guys, this is what the Mam, Mam Khalil place looks like. You walk into loads of unique, cool looking restaurants and bars, just like this one. So this one here is actually called Central Station. And what happens in this place when it reaches probably like 7, 8 p.m., it doesn't matter what day of the week you come to this area. It's consistently busy, consistently popping, and it just has that typical Lebanese vibe any day that you come. All right, guys, we've just had our starters come and we're just going to have a small bite because tonight we're going to be headed over to an opening of a rooftop here in Lebanon. We've got some uh, mini sliders and got some calamari as well as some salad, just something small. And we've got Lucy that's joined us. She was also with us last night if you watched yesterday's vlog. So we're just going to have a bite and then uh, relax. Alright guys, we just got some fresh calamari here. It tastes so, so nice. Mm. It's like a, a bit peppery, a bit Lebanese type of flavouring on there, as well as a mozzarella burger too. Alright guys, the drinks and a little bit of snacks are now officially over. I was uh, walking down the street and run into one of Mac's friends that owns a Mac and Cheese store and his name is Carlos. Hello, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> guys, so when you come down here to Mam Khalil Road, come and check out the Mac and Cheese shop because apparently they sell the best Mac and Cheese in town. So guys, I've got Lucy here, which is basically a local here in Lebanon. Originally, she lives over in Paris, France, but spends a lot of time here in Lebanon because she has a lot of family here, right? So I was asking her what her views were in terms of how things have changed here in Lebanon since the blast two years ago. Well, to be honest, uh, we had a moment of hopelessness. Yeah. And I mean, the people here were outraged of everything that happened. Mm. And all the basic things that we should have in a country like just coming into your apartment and putting the switch on well you don't have light you don't have AC mm. so it's kind of outraging but I think that yeah the crisis hit hard very hard here um, 
especially now that uh, people have their salaries in lira, they cannot live and this is what's heartbreaking. People are kind of on the mend now, right? They're kind of building everything back up and everything's slowly getting better or is it still really bad? I mean, the salaries uh, apparently are becoming more stable, more balanced. Half is like, I'll say like 60% dollars and 40% liras, which wasn't the case last year, for example. And so it kind of bal balances out, but uh, yeah, it's bec everything is becoming super pricey, especially during summer, uh, where all the tourists and all the expats come back home. So yeah, it's kind of a hard time, I would say. Mm. So there you hear it, guys. So things are still not where they should be in terms of where they were a few years ago. However, things are slowly, slowly getting better and better by each day. So guys, if you are on the fence about coming to Beirut, Lebanon, or just Lebanon in general, and watching this video, do make sure you come visit because you also be supporting exactly. the people here in Lebanon yes. so more tourism and essentially better for the economy went down under the car like all right guys we're now back in Mac whip and we're just heading over to a friend's house to get changed freshen up because we're heading over to a special evening tonight over at a rooftop so let's go guys a quick changeover and a little break here at Lucy's house and we are with the crew right here Mac and Mabel all freshened up ready Subasayede <laughs> all ready for our evening on our rooftop we're just waiting for Lucy which is actually this is her Airbnb and it's super super nice I feel like I'm in like a Roman type of vibe with all the pillars and check out the view that we've got here guys it's so so stunning Lebanese lifts. Mm, yeah, gotta gotta fit in here somehow. We got stuck in an elevator yeah, for like 20 minutes. Alright guys, finally off to the rooftop with the crew in the car and it's about 20 minutes to the spot, so let's go. Guys, as you can see from the video here, this side is definitely the more modern side to Lebanon. We've got the high-rise buildings here to my left, and also this building here to my right is supposedly the Yacht Club, which is also a hotel, and it overlooks the beautiful sea just there with the sunset. So, so stunning. guys we have just made it on to the marina side here which is just basically overlooking the beautiful Zaytuna Bay here in Beirut made it just in time for the sunset Here we are, the official opening of this beautiful rooftop, typical style rooftop here in Lebanon. Hi, how are you? Hello, how was okay? Thank you so much. It's got that typical kind of Lebanon Beirut rooftop type of vibes with these lights going across all the rooftop. And what more can you ask for when you have a beautiful sunset overlooking the uh, balcony? Just beautiful. So this is the Lebanon you don't really see when you're looking on TV or watching things online. You don't see the beautiful Zaytuna Bay like this, with a beautiful backdrop like that, as well as a gorgeous, gorgeous mountain just up there with stunning, stunning views. Yes, my guy. What's up? Guys, the one and only Mr. Lebanon has arrived. How have you been here? Where you been, bro? Uh, so one thing I found out here in Lebanon is that a lot of people also speak French. So 
I want to hear Mabel tell oh. Mac how much she loves Mac in French. Go for it. Uh, Mac is a gentleman. Mac, you have to respond in Arabic. Wow, très bien. <laughs> Alright guys, and I think this is where I'm going to end the first, well, second video here in the beautiful Lebanon. And I'm going to finish it off by saying, Habibi, come, come to, to Lebanon. Lebanon! Come to Lebanon! And don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>